Hey coders, hope you all are having a great time. Today I am solving lead code problem number 147, remove all adjacent duplicates in string. We are given a string S which consists of lowercase English letters only. And what we need to do here is uh, we need to remove uh, two adjacent characters which are equal. So basically we need to perform this operation as many number of times unless we get a string which doesn't have any um, two characters uh, which are adjacent and equal and we need to return the final string so how could we solve that problem basically um, what are we going to do here is, uh, in this example, we are just removing the character BB. So let me just show you how it will uh, be performed. Basically, how are we removing the string? So starting from the first string, we know these two adjacent strings are not duplicates. Um, so we um, choose these two characters next. So these two characters are duplicate right they are the same characters so uh, what are we going to do is we are going to remove these two characters then our resulting string will be a a c and a now in this resulting string we you could see that these two characters are duplicates right and we need to remove these two so our resulting string will be c a which is our final answer so basically we are performing an operation and then again um, we are using a two pointers here in this case i'm using two pointers to keep track of um, the adjacent strings so my pointer one pointer points to an index um, i minus one the other pointer points to index i and then i'm gonna check all of those elements and each time i remove a duplicate i decrease my point uh, pointer by one so that um, i can check for the du uh, for any new duplicates that are formed in our resulting string which is in this case so right now uh, let me just code it and show it to you um, so what are we gonna do is we're gonna use a while loop actually and before that i need to define my um pointer so i'm taking a value one and then while i is less than the length of the string so i'm gonna check if the value at index i minus one is equals to value at index i if these are then i'm gonna update my string um, by splicing by slicing the string actually so i'm going to remove these two characters which means that i am going to take this and this and concatenate the two of them so i'm going to slice my string from zero to i minus one because i don't want the last the uh, the the character which is a duplicate so i don't want this and also i don't want the character at index i so i'm going to start this from i plus one and then um increment actually decrement the value of i if we found uh if we found a duplicate basically so here you could could you could see like uh here in this case um my index i is at this position here so my index i is at this position which is at position one index one uh and um i compared these two characters and there's no duplicate so i up, up increment my value of i uh, so else we are going to actually increment the value of i now here these two characters are duplicate right i minus one and i are same so i remove these and i then uh, reduce the value of i so now my i is equals to 
here it was equals to two now i decrement my i know my i here is equals to one so in this case now i is pointing to this index here and then here we we see that we found our duplicate so that uh, and so on we are going to perform this uh, this uh, operation okay we need to return our resulting string here oh no submit this so talking about the time complexity the slice operation actually takes o of n time um, to perform and this while loop will also be operated for o of n number of times actually n number of times so basically i believe that the whole time total time complexity e here becomes o of n squared which is quite huge right um the space complexity is o of one because we are not using any additional spaces here so how could we optimize this problem this solution so there is another way to optimize this solution is by using stack so basically we are gonna use an empty array and then um for this string, um, I'm going to start from index i equals to 0. So at this index, um, I check, is, uh, I just push it to my stack. So my stack consists of the character a only. And then I move my index here. So now my value of i is equals to 1. And then I check is this value equals to the value at the end of the stack if it is not then I push that value here I increment the value of I and then again check is this value um, equals to the value at the end it is right so what I do is I pop up I either pop from the stack uh, I pop uh, this value from the stack so now my value at the stack is only a and I increment um, increment the value of i so here again a is in the stack right so I again pop from my stack now my stack is empty I increment the value of i again and then I encounter c c is not in the stack so I just push she I increment my value of i and a is not the last element of the stack so i um, push a to the stack and finally i join the all the characters of the stack and then return those so let me just uh, code this whole thing here so we need a stack ck stack calls to new array and then for let i equals to zero i less than as the length i plus plus okay and here we got we are going to check if stack the length oops length and um stack the the last element of stack stack blend minus one so here we are checking the stack is not empty if the stack is not empty and then if the last element is not equals to is equals to actually is equals to the uh, elementary index i then we are going to pop stack the pop from the stack else else the stack is empty if the stack is empty we are just pushing it we are not uh, making any ch uh, check right so we push the value at index i and also if in case the um the values are not equal that is also when we push to the stack and then finally we are going to return the stack join all the elements by a split okay and then 
run our code and let's see okay something is wrong here what did i do wrong all right i need to check this value with this tag all right let's submit it so talking about the space complexity is it is o of n space complexity because we are using a stack and the time complexity here is o of n um, since the push operation and the pop operation and the push operation only takes o of one time complexity so this whole um, operation takes o of n time complexity so basically this is the most optimized solution